Hey YouTube, this is Kenny from Royal Appleberry Soaps and as of lately I've been enjoying doing my videos fast forward but today I decided I'm going to talk in this video just because I've experienced something that was just kind of crazy and I want, it's kind of like a, a scam warning and before I get into all that I want you guys to know what I'm doing. I'm going to do my first attempt at a column pour swirl or column swirl or however it's called but um with that being said my colors are going to be white and then blue and black and this silver that's misbehaving already so hopefully it'll work out enough for me to be able to do this column pour it's kind of lumpy you know? i don't even know what these lumps are and i'm afraid to stick blend it just because it um it might um thicken it too much but you know what i think i am going to whisk it just a little bit just to get these lumps out so i'll be right back okay i'm back i don't know how much that helped i honestly don't think it helped at all it's always one color that wants to misbehave but we're going to keep on keep it on i guess <laughs> uh, so first color i'm going to start with is my white i'm going to give that a little stir and like I said, guys, I've never done this before, so this is going to be an experiment for both of us. So here we go. And while I'm pouring, I'm going to talk about this scam that I was telling you guys about. Well, I guess I should probably aim for the target first before I go pouring stuff. But the scam, okay, so I was contacted a couple of weeks ago by this person and they asked me would I send soap to the Netherlands and I said um sure I had never you know sent anything overseas before but I said you know we can make arrangements to do that so I told her to go online on my store and pick the soap that she wants and uh, we will go from there and um, guys I think we're gonna not do the column pour because this soap is getting really really thick and I don't know how well this is going to work out I'm going to try but I might have to switch and just do a drop swirl because it, it is very hot because I put coconut milk in it but anyway so yeah so she went you know online and this is all through my store my website and then um yeah I don't think this is gonna work this is like really thick okay so she went on my store and picked out what she wanted and contacted me and I was thinking okay maybe 20 bars of this and you know I'm mean, not 20 bars but maybe 20 bars total something like that because she told me she had a store in the Netherlands and she wanted you know her customers were really excited about it so I'm super excited and um yeah guys this is not working but um i'm gonna go ahead and pull this out because this is just becoming a big old mess but maybe i can do something similar like a full swirl or something let me put this in the sink so yeah she um she contacted me back and said she wanted 40 bars of six different soaps of mine so i'm like super 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 stoked about that because I've never had an order that big and as we went back and forth you know I noticed like she was really I guess I don't want to say rude because you know different cultures and different things like that so all of her emails were contact me as soon as possible get back with me right now and you know all of her emails said stuff like that and at first I got a bit annoyed by it but then I just kind of got used to it and said maybe that's just her way and uh then she said well um well okay when can you get my soaps and i said well i would like to make them fresh you know just because it's such a big order so it's going to be four to six weeks and she said that's fine she asked me to give her a total so i gave her a total and it came to twelve hundred dollars and the shipping was six hundred and six hundred and ninety six dollars so I let her know that and then she informed me and I'm pretty sure some of you guys heard of this scam already this is brand new to me because I live under a rock you know I don't watch television 
I'm barely on social media other than to, you know, post pictures of my soaps and soaping groups and things like that. So, um, she said she wanted all these soaps. And I said, okay. So, she told me then, well, I have my own shipper. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. And she gave me the name, you know, of the shipping company and told me that, you know, she lives in this really remote area and it's hard to get packages, you know, where she lives. So I said, okay, that's fine. So she asked me to contact her shipper with the dimensions, the weight, and all the requirements to ship it internationally. And so I, I don't know. I don't know why I decided to look this company up online and... I did find a company by this name, but it was LLC on the end of her, so it wasn't LLC on the end of uh, the actual web, you know, the actual company. And so I just thought, okay, well, whatever. And then another red flag for me was the fact that um, it was through Gmail and not a company email. So I said, okay, well, what do I know? <laughs> this is all new to me. So, with that being said, we went back and forth for like two weeks. And uh, I sent her all the information, well, sent her shipper all the information that was required of me. And, um, one second, guys, I'm going to tap this down. And I'm going to pause because I don't want to shake the table, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what this soap is going to look like, but, like I said, whatever. <laughs> because my coconut milk has really caused the soap to heat up. But anyway, so like I was saying, you know, she uh, told me to give this shipper all this information and I did so and he emailed me back the next day and said, well, you know, we can't take credit cards. I'm going to need Western Union. And that was my second red flag. And I said, okay, well, whatever. And I let her know because the shipping cost was actually going to cost more than what I had came up with. And I tried to get her cheapest rate. So it was $796 that he was going to charge to come pick it up. And she said that he would come to, you know, the U.S. to come pick up this soap. I said, okay. So once all that was finalized, uh, and she said, that's not a problem. And just add the shipping cost and my, you know, fee for going to Western Union and the service fees and all that stuff to it. So it ended up coming up to $1950. And I said, okay, so I, I only take PayPal unless, you know, we deal with it with, with each other personally. And um, I told her, well, okay, I've sent you an invoice through PayPal. So the next day, normally every morning, like five o'clock our time, uh, I would get an email from her. But this one, I didn't hear from her that day or the next day. So... The, the day after, she contacted me back and said, oh, you know, I'm having some problems. Um, I, I'm having problems with PayPal. It's not working. I've tried it several times. So then I'm like, okay, I don't, I'm not trusting this lady. So I told her, I said, well, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you, but I only accept PayPal for the safety of my company and for the safety of my customers. I said, so what you need to do is contact you know paypal in the netherlands or wherever and you know have their customer service help you because i'm pretty sure they'll be more than happy to help you and um she says okay so i don't sorry one sec guys i really didn't want to shake the bang it on the table but this bad boy is pretty big as you can see and actually you see how big this mold is i'll show you I made this mold just for, you know, her soaps because the order was so large. And I was trying to find the most efficient way to make so many bars of soap in such a short amount of time. But, and I started to go online and order all these fragrance oils to, you know, replace what I didn't have. And something just said, hold on, don't do that. So the only loss really, and I don't even consider it a loss because I just bought, you know, wood and made bigger molds. And I can use those. As you can see, I'm using it right now. But, um, not for a column pour, because <laughs> I don't know what this is going to be, but, and it's going to be kind of thin, but I didn't want a thick bar of soap. And this is actually another order, because I've had this one lady who's been asking for me to remake my Cosmic Blue, which I ran out as soon as I sold it. I mean, as soon as I made it. And my Cosmic Blue is actually sandalwood and patchouli, so it was pretty popular. As soon as I made it, I sold out of it, so... 
she's been asking for this for about a month and so I went on and decided to make it and record tonight even though I said I wasn't going to record it but I just wanted to tell you all about this because this was just crazy to me and I would just really 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 hate for this to happen to one of you guys you know whether you're a soap or not if you have a small business because they target any small business so um she contacted me back and said well it's still not working so you can just use square and I said um no she says here's a link you know to learn how to use it and if you don't know how to do that and run my credit card manually they get one of your family members to help you and I thought that was really unprofessional and so I emailed her back and said that uh, I do have a square and I really don't want to do that because I don't have your card so she was just like you know I really really want to get this order can you please just try it and all these things so at this point I pretty much knew what I was dealing with and so I told her I said well uh, go ahead give me your credit card information but I'm gonna need the name uh, the mailing address I mean the billing address that's on this credit card and your CVV number so she said fine and the next day she normally like I said she would contact me early in the morning while I was at work but this time she didn't contact me till like 9 p.m. you know our time and said so sorry for the whole dot but here's the information and so when I got this information, she put the credit card number, all these things, it was a California billing address. And that's when I knew then at that point, and in which I kind of already knew that, that I was dealing with a scam artist here. And so I didn't contact her back at that point, you know. I'm just like, this is not cool. So what I did, and I'm just a little bit disappointed in these credit card companies because let me tell you guys. It, uh, one sec, let me tamp this down a little bit. Well, I guess I can wait because I'm almost finished. But, um, it took me over an hour to actually speak to someone through a certain credit card company to report this credit card stolen. And I kept being, you know, given the runaround and given an automated service. And, you know, when I would talk to someone live, they would give me another number to another automated service. So, at this point, I'm like not happy and it's just ridiculous so and here's another thing the recording kept saying uh put in your account i mean put in yeah your account number and i'm thinking okay it's maybe a separate account number but i just okay i'll try it anyway i put in this person's credit card number and then it asked me for it asked me for um the zip code and i had the zip code so i put that in too and to my surprise, I was given all of this person's information. Their credit limit, this person had a $100,000 credit limit. Uh, they had $10,000, a little bit over $10,000 in their account. And this person, and this, this person is Olivia McGregor. So if you get an email from anyone with this name, just know right then and there that it's a scam. Um, but she put her name on this credit card, but this person's name was James. That's all I got. And he had $10,000. Well, he apparently had $20,000, a little over $20,000 in his account. But Olivia McGregor uh, had already tried to take a cash advance of $10,000, you know, out of his account, which was pending. So then uh, I was able, it was actually, I didn't even ask for it. It just gave me all the transactions. So she, this person, this scam artist, had already, you know, the $10,000 cash advance. And then they spent $4,000 that had went through the day before and $1,700 that night. And then I was able to listen to all of um, this person's, the actual owner of his credit card, all the transactions that he made, which were in amounts of like, $80, $15, $20 here and there. And it was just like killing me to know that this person had no clue that their account was being drained. So out of frustration, I'm just like, I don't know what to do because I can't speak to anyone live. And this person, this, this scam artist is going to drain this person's account if I don't do something. So it asked me, did I agree with the transaction? And I said, no, which put a block on the account. And I felt better at that point because I said, well, at least if this person tries to go tomorrow, the actual owner, 
tries to go tomorrow and um, make a transaction, it won't go through. And then that'll prompt them to call the credit card company or their bank or someone. So uh, after maybe <laughs> another 15, 20 minutes, me being enraged at this point, because it shouldn't take that much to report a stolen credit card. Okay, guys, hold on one sec. I'm going to bang this down and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I got this all tapped down, and I don't know what I'm going to do next because I didn't plan to do just a regular pour, but it's going to work out. So, as I was saying, I was finally able, after all of that, able to talk to, you know, a person live, and I'm, she was really nice, but I was like so pissed because, and the reason why I took this so personally, because that can happen to any of us. And if it did, you know, no one's going to help or you got to keep dealing with some automated service that's going to keep giving you the, just sending you pretty much back to the same place you had already been. So that's why I was like so upset. And, you know, she was really nice and she told me, you know, I am so, so happy that you called. I said, well, you know, I'm doing this because this could happen to any of us. And I just hope that someone would do the same for me because, you know, I'm a big believer in karma, you know. So she said that I see there's been a block put on this account. I said, yeah, I was one who did it because no one, I couldn't get in touch with a live person. And I was frustrated. And she said, well, I'm glad you did that. And she says, well... Um, what's the name of your company? And so I told her and she asked for my name. She said, would you mind me telling, you know, the actual owner of this credit card that you did this for him? I said, no, I don't mind, you know, just because, and I said, tell him that I, I just really didn't want to see his credit ruined because of some, excuse me guys, but some jackass that decides to scam people for a living instead of getting a job and work like the rest of us. So that's you know what I was going through and it just it wasn't I wasn't even upset that I it was a scam you know me losing out on a soap order or something like that it was just the fact that you could ruin somebody's life who's worked so hard you know and then here comes some bum comes along and just ruins everything for them so if you guys get um anything like that just just you know <laughs> don't take the route that i did because i contact her and i sent her a fabulously nasty email <laughs> you know just calling her everything i could possibly think of and that's normally not me but i was just so mad that this is what you do in your life and so after doing a little bit more research i actually found her olivia mcgregor remember that name i found her you know on all types of uh scam sites where she's trying to do the same thing and it was really funny because the emails that she sent these other soapers was verbatim of the emails that she sent me you know so i actually sent her the link and told her you're famous so you know <laughs> get off your ass get a job just like the rest of us and stop trying to be a scam artist and karma's gonna get you you know for being such a terrible person and i don't even know if it was a female but whoever this person was that's just a terrible thing to do to someone it's devastating you know and then I've never had that happen to me but I'm pretty sure the process of getting all your stolen money back is not very simple but shame on these credit card companies for making it so difficult for a merchant to report a stolen credit card that was just kind of mind baffling to me so I'm <laughs> I guess I'm done with my rant for tonight but that was just so appalling to me and I just want to keep any of my fellow soapers or even if you're not a soaper like I said if you're just a small business owner you know from that happening and oh here's the kicker because right before I went to bed something just said go on Facebook and it was odd that I happened to go right to a group that was talking about this a lady posted you know saying that she was contacted by some guy who lived in the U.S. and he wanted her to make a soap for a customer that he had in Spain wanting $5,000 worth of soap and she was asking is this a scam should I do it what should I do you know other people had heard of this before me so thank God you know they kind of guided her in the right way and once I did my research and got this information I was able to send her the link and let her know you know this is a scam so don't do it and it's sad because you really can't report them it's a fake email address so who are you gonna report them to so with all that being said, 
uh, <laughs> I was attempting to do a column pour and it didn't turn out but actually I think I kind of got the same results this middle part right here is a little puffy but I'm gonna bang it down and um, I guess that's it so I'm gonna get off my soapbox and I just thank you guys for tuning in today to my channel and watching me make this soap and listen to me blather on about <laughs> these scam artists but I just hope that it'll help someone you know to avoid all the nonsense and thank God I was smart enough to do my research but for people who just get so excited because I was super excited and go for this oh and that's what I want to tell you guys um while I'm standing here all you're gonna see is my hand sorry but this is what happens they actually they will come and pick up the soap or whatever it is they will uh, send their shipper come pick it up the money the credit card all of that will go through you'll get paid for it and then two weeks after you've you know gotten the money and they've gotten their soap they'll put in a claim with PayPal or whoever they went through stating that they never got their products so services like that normally are on their customer side so what's going to happen is they're going to make you return the money and you lose your product as well so you're out of everything and this person gets your product and can sell it and do whatever with it so just be you know be wary of that if it seems too good to be true and that old saying holds truth if it seems too good to be true it is so on that note guys i want to thank you again for joining me this is kenny at roy lappleberry soaps and um subscribe thumbs up and if you have any suggestions on anything you want to see me make or attempt to make <laughs> then just let me know i'll be more than happy to do it so until next time guys see you later